The best skaters in the country are going for gold in St. Paul this week at the Prudential U.S. Figure Skating Championship. And one skater who knows all about the pressure, the excitement, and the thrill of standing on top of that podium is Merrill Davis. Merrill and her partner, Charlie White, are the reigning Olympic gold medalist in ice dancing. Marilyn and Charlie also won a very impressive six U.S. championships. And that's that moment when you oh. see that picture, it just has to take you back to that, Meryl. That sort of captures the feeling in that moment for sure. Just shock, not really knowing what to think. 18 years in the making, and it, when, when it happens, it, it's hard to really know how to move forward from there. Yeah, mm -hmm. amazing, amazing moment. We Thank all loved you. watching you at the Olympics. It's fun having you Thank here in you. town for this. You guys were uh, skating the national championships at XL That's in St. Right. Paul in 2008, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I realized, you know, how um, far along my age is progressing when I, I thought about the, the fact that that was eight years ago. Boy, seen that yeah. long ago. Uh, but no, it's a beautiful venue, and that's why we're back. You know, the energy, the venue, it, it's perfect for this kind of event. So I know all the skaters are glad to be back. And you're here, but you're not skating this time. What is that's sort of it. your role when you're, when you're coming back? Yeah, I mean, I think that, like Charlie and I said to some of the younger skaters yesterday when we gave a speech, we've had just such a beautiful experience in, in our skating career, whether it's competition, shows, practice day in and day out um, at home in Detroit. We really want to just impart some of the things we feel like we did well, mm -hmm. some of the things we wish maybe we had learned sooner uh, on the kids so that they have as beautiful of an experience as, as we had. The ladies' competition got underway last night. I know you That's were over right. there watching a mm -hmm. little bit of the action. Uh, Paulina Edmonds really had the stellar performance last night instead of Ashley Wagner or Gracie Gold. Right? Yeah, Paulina definitely had the performance of the evening. Standing ovation. I was I was standing. I think most of the arena was standing. She um, she's always been a beautiful skater, but it was a very mature skate for her, mm -hmm. um, and so I was impressed. And um, you know, she was a kid. She was the kid in Sochi, but. You know, she was very much an elegant young woman last night. So well, that's be nice fun to, to see, see that. It is. It, so Madison Chalk and then Evan Bates, they have been um, kind of the top U.S. team since you and Charlie yeah. won gold. Where do you see the future of ice dancing going? Well, American ice dance is an incredibly deep field, which mm -hmm. is really exciting for all of us to watch. Um, yeah, Maddie and Evan have been incredible for years, but uh, we also have Maya and Alex Shibatani, um, Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue, Caitlin Wyack, Jean-Luc Jean Baker. We have just a plethora of amazing talent, and so not only this year, not only this coming Olympics, but many Olympics to come. I think we hope that American ice dance is right on top. Okay, you can dance on the ice. And you can dance <laughs> off the ice. I don't know. You were incredible. What do you mean you don't know? You just won uh, not too long ago. Won Dancing with not the Stars. Too long ago. Yeah, it's it's much easier when you have a, an incredibly talented uh, professional dancer with you. I think. Shirtless, a shirtless dancer. That makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> Was it difficult doing that transition? Because I'm sure a lot of people were like, "Oh, of course, you ice dance. This should be yeah. easy for you." You know, it was actually harder than I expected. Um, we as skaters, our movement really comes from either, you know, the torso up or the knees down. We really use our knees and our ankles, whereas on the floor, there's a lot of that, like, Latin hip action that you see, and I, my body just does not do that. So, <laughs> um, it was challenging, but at the same time, I'm used to training all day, so that was... That was an easier you, That was to easy. Well, uh, I'm not sure if you're used to the kind of eating we did last night. Ah, you would be surprised. Four meals, though? Maybe not four meals. We had four. Meals. <laughs> so, she trains all day long. That's yeah. right. That's right. So these are some of the pictures from last night. Yeah. Uh, St. Paul, the tourism group, mm -hmm. had this taste of champions. There we are. I vote we do it every night for the rest it, of it. It was fun, wasn't it? It was incredible. Brian Boitano, Christy Yamaguchi, you. That's right. Well, Brian definitely knows what he's talking about. You know, he's had his own his own food show yeah. or cooking show, but um, I'm happy to taste the food and give my opinion. <laughs> so if anyone, you know, needs my opinion again, I'd be That's happy right. to taste it. Your opinion on red wine also was spot on last night. I'm, I'm a Cabernet fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like Cabernet. Excellent. Really fun. A bunch of Olympians and Jason. Eating I know, dinner. the random <laughs> <laughs> contributor there. It you was great. You in very nicely. Well, you'll be back in St. Paul in May, and that what do we have happening then? We have stars on ice so that'll be fun we're excited to get you back here but we definitely want Thank people you. to go check out the u.s figure skating championships running through sunday at xl all the details at wcco.com real thank you so much thank for coming you. in it's great to see you again what are we doing tonight uh, watch <laughs> and then maybe eating maybe just one great dinner all right text me we'll work it out <laughs> <Love> you. <laughs> you too we